essentially had been preparing for Mike Tyson for many years. Mike Tyson, on the other hand, was taking this Holyfield fight, believing that Holyfield was done. He was washed up. His promoter, Don King, according to Manny Stewart, told him that he thought Holyfield was washed up. Because Manny Stewart says he advised Don King against putting Tyson in with Holyfield. He said, Holyfield's obsessed with Tyson. You don't understand, Don. He's obsessed with the guy. Anyway, this is Mike Tyson staring Evander Holyfield down in the ring before their first fight started. And he was also staring him down at the weigh-in. Staring people down was Mike Tyson's thing. You see, some fighters don't care about the stare down. I remember Odlinair Solis, the Cuban heavyweight, he would always look at the floor during the referee's instructions. He never cared about staring the opponent down. Mike Tyson always stared opponents down when he was champion, when he was at the top. He always would do it. It was his thing. He wanted to try and intimidate the opponent. He talked about, if the opponent looked away, I knew then that I got him psychologically. So this is him before the first fight, typical Tyson. He gets defeated in this fight. He gets stopped. And in fact, there are moments in this fight where Mike Tyson tries to quit. And all Mike Tyson fanboys are going to get upset by that, but it's true. And Teddy Atlas predicted it, by the way. <laughs> I remember at the time Teddy Atlas predicted it. In the second fight, he predicted it. Or, or in the run-up to the second fight. There's a round in this fight where Mike Tyson actually headbutts Holyfield. He clearly goes forward and shoves his head into Holyfield's to try and headbutt him. The commentators disgracefully don't pick up on what is an obvious headbutt. And people always talk about Holyfield headbutting Tyson. There is a, a moment in this fight where Tyson literally launches his head into Holyfield's head. And it's blatantly obvious that Tyson was trying to worsen the cut on his own eye because Tyson got cut in the fight. He was trying to worsen the cut on his own eye because he wanted out. Now, why did he want out? Yeah, Holyfield was beating the brakes off him, but Tyson took a tremendous shellacking in the Buster Douglas fight and he took it like a man. But that's when Mike Tyson still believed in his own invincibility. You know, he probably thought in the back of his mind somewhere, as bad a beating as he was taking against Douglas, I'm still going to get him. Um, I am Mike Tyson, something's going to happen and I'm still going to get him. And he nearly did get him in the eighth round. But ultimately, he got knocked out badly. Now, fast forward six years to when he fought Holyfield. Once he started getting beaten, the ghosts of the Buster Douglas fight came flooding back. He started feeling the same way that he felt in that Douglas fight. And he didn't want to go there again. And that's why he headbutted Holyfield in that particular round, trying to worsen the cut on his own eye and hopefully get it stopped. This is why he did that. The moment that he did it in this particular video, Ferdy Pacheco says Tyson got hit with a head or you know there was a clash of heads and Tyson actually got hurt from a head. But it wasn't a clash of heads. It was Tyson headbutting Holyfield in that instance. Now in the rematch, after Mike Tyson gets stopped here in 11 rounds and takes another shellacking, similar to the Buster Douglas shellacking, all of a sudden, before the fight, Tyson's not staring his opponent down anymore. And again, this is out of character for Mike Tyson. This is not a guy who doesn't care about stare downs. This is a guy who makes a big deal of staring his opponent down. So this is him looking at Holyfield before the first fight. Compare that to how he was for the second fight. Look at Mike Tyson's eyes, people. That's his eyes looking at Holyfield before the first fight. And that's his, that's his eyes during the stare down of the second fight. Holyfield's eyes are up here. Tyson's not looking at his eyes. This is a troubled man. The demons from the first fight and the Buster Douglas fight were weighing on Mike Tyson's mind. This is in 1997. 